guys so this morning we went for breakfast at brasserie on seven i'm just going to start the video off with a few clips there the food was really good they serve breakfast lunch and dinner all separate menus for all three it's located on the main riva on in split uh, right outside our apartment that we rented um, and then afterwards we'll go into our day here ever seen a salt and pepper distributor shaker like this turn one way for salt the other way for pepper they're both in the same thing how cute is this this brunch looks so good here at brasserie on seven i got the french toast with ricotta and bananas mikey got a side of bacon and then he got eggs benedict yum bon appetit Plans today got changed around a little bit. We were originally planning to go to Braj. Plan A was to take the high speed ferry right into Bol, which is not running right now because of COVID. Uh, plan B was to take some sort of group excursion on a boat to go to Braj and maybe Sholta. That is not running because of COVID. <laughs> plan C was to take a private boat to Braj into Bol. First, it was a little bit expensive, but also today is really windy, a lot of waves, so those are not running. Uh, plan D now is going to be to do a Game of Thrones tour today and split. Maybe go to the Game of Thrones Museum and then later on go check out a winery, so follow along. Stay tuned. up with our Game of Thrones tour, which was pretty awesome. It was Game of Thrones and history tour from Greyline Tours here. Um, the tour guide was really knowledgeable and she definitely helped us see the history here and split a little bit because I know in the last video I said that I wasn't all that impressed with all the historical sites. I mean, they're kind of hidden away. So unless you have somebody showing you around and pointing them out, of course, it's hard to know what everything is. Probably that's the same in every city. <laughs> Um, so she gave us that. It's good for people who are, I would say, medium-sized Game of Thrones fans. We aren't those major Game of Thrones fans who know every single thing, but she had photos with her videos that gave a little bit of an overview for all the different scenes that we were seeing. Um, and then she was knowledgeable about the books, and she also went through the history of the palace and of the old city of Split. I would definitely recommend it if you're going to split, even if you're a little bit of a Game of Thrones fan. I know tourism went down for Game of Thrones here. It was probably a lot more popular when the uh, show was first coming out, when the books were first coming out. Maybe if they come out with another book, it might be popular again, but I think a lot of people were mad about the last season of Game of Thrones. So uh, I would definitely recommend some sort of walking tour while you're in Split, just so you get a little bit of a, more of an understanding and appreciation for the history here. Originally, after our Game of Thrones tour, we were going to go to the Game of Thrones Museum, but the tour guide said it was pretty small and everything in there is replicas except for the head of Drogon, which is in the window, which we got to see, uh, which was made by actually an artist here in Croatia. So that's the only original thing from the shows. So we decided to skip the museum, take a break, get ready, and get ready for the next upcoming thing, which is our vineyard and wine tour going to Putalia. Vineyard. I don't know, that's a hard one to pronounce. Now over here by this statue is where we are meeting our guide or bus for the wine tour that we're taking this evening. So you can see here at the base of the statue, the big toe is said to be good luck if you rub it. Um, with probably a thousand people rubbing it in one day and the virus going around, I'm not gonna do it this year, I'll have to do it another year but apparently the Croatian way is to rub it with two hands, not just like rub it a little bit that the tourists do here. So I won't be touching that this year, but maybe another time.
course. Thank you. Here we have a little walk through the vineyards. This is the white Zinfandel variety. And if you see, there's no water irrigation here. The trees actually grow roots down like eight to 10 meters. So I think that's 30 feet and they take all the water from the soil so they don't need to be watered. You want a vineyard with this view? Wouldn't you? <laughs> Here we are in the vineyard. We started out with a beautiful view overlooking the water in the vineyard, trying their variety of white Zinfandel, and afterwards we're gonna go down to where they make the wine. We're going to try two of their reds. have a good time awesome time awesome time that was one of the best wine tours we've ever had we've been in wine tours in new york in virginia like all over the place and that was one of the best we've ever had we probably drank a little too much wine because they were serving us by the bottle it was the putali vineyard it's p-u-t-a-l-p-u-t-a-l-j and now it's like yeah there you go 1 30 in the morning and uh, we are headed back to our room and tomorrow we are headed to Huar for our next spot in our Dalmatia tour. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Thanks.